Tulsi plant is regarded as a goddess according to the Hindus. She is very close to Lord Vishnu and no ritual is ever deemed complete without the presence of tulsi leaves. It is even said that tulsi as Vrinda was married to Lord Vishnu and this ritual is commonly called as tulsi viva and is also practiced in many Hindu homes. Benefits of tulsi. Tulsi leaves are mixed with honey to cure sore throat. Fresh juice of tulsi is instilled in ears to get relief from ear ache. Tulsi also acts like a weapon against cough, cold, diarrhea and vomiting. People tree. Hindu and Jain consider this tree to be sacred and often meditate under them. And this is the tree under which Gautam Buddha is believed to have attained enlightenment. The people tree is often married to neem or banana tree. If the trees grow together, they are considered husband and wife. Benefits The bark of people cream is used to treat diarrhea, nervous disorder and skin diseases. Juice of the bark is even used to treat bones and it helps in curing asthma. Panyan tree Banyan tree is the national tree of India and is worshipped by both Hindus and Buddhists. It is thought of as perfectly symbolizing eternal life due to its seemingly unending expansion. Benefits of Banyan tree Gum of Banyan is used as a remedy for toothache and leaves of this tree are used to treat allergic conditions of the skin and burning. The banana tree. The leaf of banana tree is the most sacred and would find its usage in all Vedic rituals. It is believed that offering food in the banana leaves pleases Lord Ganesha. It is also considered to be the holiest plate to have meals on, which is why even today many South Indians serve the food on the banana leaves. Uses of banana tree. Flowers of banana tree are used for treating bronchitis and dysentery. Young leaves can be used for treating skin irritations. Hey guys, while I was making this video, I wondered why do we link these trees to God and worship them? Yeah, I had the same doubt too. Hmm. I think it is done as a matter of gratitude because we know that life cannot exist without trees and seeing the present situation, it is very important to save trees. Exactly. And this inherent nature of the society to worship and protect trees exhibits the refinement of the sensitivity of Indian culture.